Just in time for the show. And for an interview, we're going to be seeing the writer and cinematographer of the film, Marcus Snyder, and director and the person who played Jim, Xander Renzi. Feels familiar up here. I don't know. So, how long did it take you guys to film this? Um, I think it was only like three days, two days. Yeah, a couple days. Um, I mean, we, we started filming for one of them at what twelve? Like in, yeah, in the afternoon. Like we filmed in the afternoon one day, and then one day, like the day before it was due, mm -hmm. in the evening. Which I mean is cutting it close for a competition. I mean, really, like filmed like uh, an entire day from like till night. Yeah, and then we had to reshoot a bunch because it was at night and the footage looked terrible. I mean, it looked awful, it looked really grainy and weird. So we just reshot it the next day. And, you know, yeah, kind of ended up working out. Were there any difficulties trying to film this? Rain, rain <laughs> is. Uh, it, we filmed a western in the middle of winter, outside, so we got basically muddy. Um, I remember walking through the mud a bunch, and uh, my boots entirely got like destroyed walking there. Uh, a lot of the equipment got some mud on it. Don't tell Hall if he's here. I don't see him. He, okay, he must not be here if I don't see him. But yeah, uh, scratched up some of some microphone stands. And this was, in fact, a film for the Skills USA regional competition, right? Um, can you explain a little more about skills? Yeah, so basically there are multiple levels to the competition to where it's like, starts off in regionals in California. So region, we're in region four, which uh, like Butte County and just, I mean, I don't really know how far it extends, but um, then uh, we got what, third place? I think for this, yes, we got third place. And then we moved on to states, which is in LA. Yeah, or like Ontario. Mm -hmm. That was pretty scary. <laughs> yeah, we had even less time for that. I mean, yeah. it was just two days, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like 30 something hours. Which hours. We had to make a five minute film in like 30 something hours, which was insane. Oh, they do! You know what? I would sing it, but I don't think the speakers would like it. They'd... Sing it! Sing it! Um. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. I would sing it if You're gonna everybody else... You're going to upset my Franken host here. You start singing. Everybody else who knows it needs to sing it. That means you, you, you. All right? Ready? You know it. I do not know it. Okay, it goes something like this. Skills USA Champions at work. <laughs> Educated, motivated. I don't even know this. <laughs> I'm not even gonna act like I know the rest. Um. <laughs> so, what were some of the more interesting moments from filming? 
We didn't already answer that question. Ducks. There were a lot of ducks we filmed. We, we filmed at uh, Horseshoe Lake. So, um, yeah. I think shots with that Paul character is uh, pretty good. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, um, the question was about sh the shots, right? Any notable shots? Yeah. Actually, my favorite part of the film was when Paul got punched, I think. That was my favorite part. Yeah. Um, I think it was another interesting thing. Um, uh, when you, uh, the, when there's the match cut, when you lay on the ground, and then oh. you're walking again. Right, 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 right. So, we, I like, storyboarded, or, we, we planned out a shot, right? Yes. We planned out a shot, um, and then on the day of filming, since we were rushing through everything, we just kind of completely forgot to film it. Um, and we filmed it outside at night, uh, which is kind of hard to replicate. So what I did is I just, uh, that, well, you saw the film, uh, the shot where I'm laying down on the ground, ready to go to sleep. Um, that was filmed in my house and not out near Horseshoe Lake. It was the one shot that was filmed inside my house. I had my mom hold the camera. <laughs> um, speaking of moms, who was the mom at the end? Uh, okay, that's kind of a that's kind of an interesting question because uh, it doesn't have really a straight answer. Um, <laughs> uh, so it was performed visually. My mom, my mom played the mom in that driving up in the car, you know, and the voice of uh, of the mom character was done by. Uh, Solomon Perillo's mom, which I'm, I mean, like, kind of look familiar. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Did you kill Solomon? Hello? I think there was a pee on the gravestone I digged up. I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, so what inspired this story? I think we just kind of made it up. <laughs> we we just wanted oh we, we could have made something up. Um, I guess the movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid was where we started from, and just like making it much shorter, and then changing it up after that. Yeah, and uh, I think my motivation behind the film was just kind of like I want to do a western. Westerns are kind of cool. I've never watched a lot, but I still want to do it because they look cool. Uh, so that's, I mean, that's kind of what the inspiration was, right? Yeah, uh, that's maybe it. And also, like, the prompt that we were given. Right, which was, I don't even remember. It was something about, um, uh, something about responsibility or something. Oh, our time is now. Our time is now. Our time is now was the prompt. Yeah. Okay, that's all the questions we have for you. Thank you for that very long insight on your film. Um, 